Yo, yo, what's up, guys? Um, JPR Tech here, and today I'm gonna be showing you how to take your web streaming video quality up a notch. Actually, not even a notch. This is like way up, way up there. And what I'm talking about is right now, this is not my webcam. Actually, I'm shooting with my Sony A7S, and it's actually outputting the HDMI data or my video streaming into an HDMI capture card. And the one I'm using right now, the one made by Pango, I bump into them in Amazon. I was looking for ways to increase my, you know, my webcam experiences because just like the rest of the world, we're all affected by coronavirus. And um, I'm trying to do my part and try to do as many lessons as I can online and do a lot of my job online and I've been very blessed and fortunate that I can still do most of my work online but of course just like everyone else we've all been affected by this corona and it really really sucks bad but we try to do our best um, so right now I was trying to improve the quality of my job atmosphere by increasing the quality of my video and bump into the HDMI capture card, you know, option. And this sure beats buying a, what, like a very decent webcam is, webcam is around $200, $300. Or if you go for the Logitech, Logical one, I believe it's about $100, $90. But that is still just a webcam. You will get webcam quality. You cannot get this quality no matter how much you dish out on a webcam. This is a very, very affordable way to get excellent quality for your conference meeting or if you teach online, whatever you do online that you really want to up the standard or your quality standard on your video, this is the best way to do it. It's really cheap, easy, and cheap, easy, yeah, just very cheap, very easy to do. You could look at them up in Amazon or eBay. You'll probably find them for around, they range anywhere from like $80 to like $100, $130. The one I got actually cost about, it was like $80, I think, the Pango, Pingo. I don't know how to pronounce it. It's an awesome capture card. This thing has, the build quality is awesome. It's really rigid, solid. I love it. The way it connects and plugs into your computer is really firm. It has really good contact. And with the HDMI cable as well, it really is really snugged in there. So I don't have any fear of it coming loose during the stream or work. So while looking at some of the footage, actually I'm looking right now live at the monitor screen on my MacBook. The colors are very accurate. I'm shooting in a Cine 2 Cinema Color Profiles and the colors are amazing. It's almost a carbon copy from the back of the A7S LCD. But I did notice one thing is that the recorded files externally in the MacBook are a lot bigger than the ones internally in the A7S. That could be because of the compression of the XAVCS files. They're a little bit more compressed. Then again, these files in my computers are clean. I mean, they're sharp, they don't have any noise, the color is great. So really this Pango HDMI capture card does an excellent job. It's real high quality. And I'm surprised how cheap it is compared to the like the popular brands out there, Elgato, uh, AV, Avier Media, something like I don't know, it's a gamer's uh, version of the HDMI captures, and those are way over the 200 mark. They're like in the 300s, $400 mark. So this one, for being so simple, a plug-in adapter, it's amazing. I really recommend this adapter. Now the one I have is it actually connects to USB-C, but since my old, really, really old aged MacBook Air from 2013 doesn't have any USB-C whatsoever, kudos to Pango for including an adapter that you could connect to your older legacy USB 3.1. It's so strange to call USB 3.1 legacy now. That's so strange, but yeah. It's getting old now. Back to the streaming. So quality wise, the video quality you're watching it right now is amazing. If we were comp to compare this to the 
webcam. Let me switch over to the webcam and show you what I mean. This is actually the MacBook Air's webcam. It's a 720 webcam. Now, to be honest, as far as webcam goes, this webcam does a really decent job and good enough for most cases. But if you really want to increase the level, then you're going to have to switch over to this little fellow. But while we're here, I'm going to show you really quick that my Sony A7S right here can actually output clean HDMI. And that's the important thing about having really good video quality using an HDMI capture. You got to make sure that your camera has clean HDMI. Now, most mirrorless cameras and DSLR cameras have clean HDMI, but you should check with your model to see if it does have it. If you don't have enough cash to shell out for a mirrorless camera or a DSLR camera that has clean HDMI out, did you know that most handy cams like this Sony one, this the CX630V, now this cam actually does have clean HDMI out and this only cost $200 uh, from the camera store. It was used and it only cost me $200 for a good HD quality. And this is the quality you can expect from a $200 used Sony Handycam. This is the CX630V using the built-in 5.1 channel stereo microphone. You really don't have to shell out so much money for so around $300 I was able to get this great streaming setup for the uh, organization that I'm volunteering in and at the meetings that we have weekly we greatly improve the video quality going from a cheapo webcam to an HD camcorder and the quality is actually very decent. I hope you guys enjoy this review because actually the review is the video itself. I'm using the capture right now. I'm not recording at all with my Sony camera. This is all being recorded using the free software. In Mac, if you have QuickTime, you could hit Alt, Command, N, or you could start recording a new movie using the FaceTime camera, or if you have the connected HDMI capture card, it will be seen as a camera. On the other hand, for Windows users, you could just use your camera app and be on the, mo the movie setting and record away high quality video and you could use that for your videos. Or if you're doing more of a live stream, which this is actually the main topic in this video, uh, so I used it with Zoom, Skype, Line, FaceTime, Hangout works great. In each of the app, there is a setting that you could choose to keep and record in HD. So as long as you got that check, you'll get the best quality uh, live streaming. I hope this video was helpful for you guys. And if it was, I would really appreciate a thumbs up. Sharing this video will be awesome too, because you know, not now that most of us are in quarantine or working from home, this will be a great way to still, you know, push up the quality of our job just a little bit higher. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.